Very often we are required to allow users to be able to upload files and attachments to our applications. Let's see how we can achieve the same in our systems. So for this, uh, I have built a reactive web application. What I'm going to do is quickly add an entity called file. As you can guess, I do intend to store this file in my database. However, you're free to upload the file anywhere you like using the necessary plugins on Forge. Uh, what is more important here is to have these kind of fields. One will have the file name and the other will have the content. Make sure the uh, data type for the file content is binary. I can of course add uh, one more field for date time so that we can check at what time this file will upload it. Thereafter, what we'll do is uh, build a quick screen. Uh, default is fine. And on this screen, we'll display the list of files that we have in our system. Okay, so the file name and the date time. Uh, next thing is uh, we're going to add a local variable here called file. Make sure the data type of this is exactly the same as your entity because we do need this structure to be there. Uh, why we need that is because the upload, the file upload control requires that. So if you see here, it requires a file content. Now if I expand this, it shows file dot file content, which is this one. Let's do that. And same thing for file name as well. What we need thereafter is uh, perhaps a button. A button that says upload. Now this is the one that will trigger the upload. So on the click of this button, that's where we're going to write the logic. Now there are two ways of doing this. Uh, one straightforward way is to use the CRUD operation here under the file, straight away drag and drop and do it. But the proper way would be to use a server action because uh, it's not advisable to expose your database, the server operations on the client side. Uh, I trust that you will note that advice. I'll still go ahead and use the uh, server action from the client side. So how to do that is perhaps I can use an assignment operator first to assign that the time in the file, which happens something like this. So the date time is the only variable that I'm assigning dynamically. The rest of the things are coming from the file upload control. And thereafter, what I will do is use the creator update file and the file element from the screen. And the last step is to refresh the data, which is that query. Go ahead. Uh, by the way, you will notice here the warning is here. So in case you want to take a look at that recommendation, it's right there at the bottom. Okay. So in case you don't want that warning to be there, drag a drop a server action first. And inside that server action, do the file upload. Let me call this function. Okay. Now what is left for us to do is uh, perhaps allow people to download as well. So when somebody is clicking on the file name, for example, I can link it to a new client action, which is here. And here we're going to define that allow the user to download and what they will download is perhaps um, the content will come from get files dot current dot file dot file content. And likewise, the name will be from get files as well, current and file name. Let's see how it looks. Publish the application using one click publish. And it's ready. Let's launch it to test it. Here we go. We select the file, uh, maybe this one, upload appears. Let's try one more time. Another file. It's uploaded. In case you want to download, we can click on this. And it's working fine as well. Thanks for watching.